So here's even more weirdness. So um, we'll have a look, see where the marker is just here. So we're around about the middle of this, and um, it's offset. We're expecting this to be almost dead on 10.7 megahertz, but it's sufficiently off for us to worry about it. And uh, also, saw mentioned in the EV blog um, forum about this that uh, is it to do with the receiver um, bandwidth? And uh, currently, it's set to auto, which is the default uh, setting when I um, set this span. Um, and let's see what happens. So, if I reduce the bandwidth, oh, it's moved. And actually, it looks pretty good. But if I set it back to one kilohertz, it's shifted. Strange. So, um, if I get the marker on here and we move it into the middle, it looks to me pretty much like that's that's spot on. It's certainly uh, good enough to to use. And uh, let's see if we change that again. Uh, so back up to one kilohertz. Yeah, it's uh, very strange. If I go down to three hundred, then one hundred, looks okay as well. Perhaps a little bit to the left, but yeah, 300 looks good. One kilohertz. Oh dear, three kilohertz. This is really, not... and then 10 kilohertz. Hmm, kind of okay, but still, still way off. I mean, at three kilohertz, if I get the marker out here, we're about three, three and a half kilohertz off center. In addition to that, what's a little bit strange is that it does seem to be changing the shape of the curve as well, which is slightly worrying. Um, I wouldn't have thought that uh, changing the bandwidth like that would have made this amount of difference, but uh, yeah, okay, slightly different filtering, I guess. Um, okay, up to 10 kilohertz, move that marker. Strange. Um, yeah, I can't explain it, uh, but it is there's something not right there to me. Okay, thanks for watching.